versus Lucifer, the legend from Korea against the former German champion. This is high stakes level, uh, le lo 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 ladies and gentlemen, round three from the Jera Cup, round of 16 already. And uh, yeah, Nomad Isles, a three player map, very uh, rare to see that in Warcraft. But I just love the map. Um, I think it's the newest version, 1.3. So some stuff got fixed, I guess. But I'm not sure. There is a new version played in China. But I didn't have the time to read through all the changes. But we'll see. Um, yeah, Human vs. Undead. At the moment, a very hard matchup for Undead. Because once... Um, the human get this expansion up it's so hard to break the defenses at the main base or um, or the expo mountain king first here by yours and the DK of course but still okay there's the graveyard I was about to say uh, a ghoul build order for Lucifer but it's not of course definitely they all want the WCA money, yes, of course. The huge prize money of $215,000. By far the largest prize money in Warcraft 3 history. Uh, twice as much as last year and I guess four times as much as uh, any other tournament aside from WCA ever paid out. It's Nomad Isle happy. Nomad Isle. Okay, Mountain King is out and he's going for the mercenary camp right away to grab himself a uh, Shadow Priest, I guess. Yep, there it is to dispel the little uh, skeletons if there is a harassment uh, with them. And of course to be able to get the Mauler later on. Yours stated he's uh, probably one of the best players in Europe, even right now. In the cup. Oh, first coil. Nice, Harrisman. Nice timing by Lucifer. Killing two priests. Uh, two priests. Two uh, militias right away. But level two, Mountain King. And there's the scroll, uh, Ring of Regeneration. Oh, what a nice block. But wh why did he do that? I don't know. He, he blocked his own unit, so it wasn't that nice. Uh, okay, hammer time now, probably, to surround the DK. Is it closed? I don't think so. No, he tried to close it afterwards, but that didn't work out. So yeah, kind of a good early game for Lucifer. Killing two militia, two peasants is okay. Um, not as good as it could be, because he lost 50% of his HP. But the tech is kind of good no tech yet for yours and silver is lagging WCA is indeed in December you can find all the information on um, w3arena.net or if you're German on readmore.de and of course in our great subreddit reddit.com slash r slash WC3 Yeah, that's all the good uh, sources for Warcraft 3 news nowadays We'll post uh, All the cups that are happening all the leaks that are happening all the infos about the big tournaments WEC that is coming back as well um, and the WCA. So, yeah, this, the state of Warcraft is pretty good so far. So, yeah, we see the first uh, small skeleton harass or just a scout to see that there is no tech yet. So Lucifer is well aware that there is an expansion coming. And he's creeping himself to level 3, I guess. The tech is halfway through. So, yeah, it's still kinda even. Claws of attack plus 6. Eh, not that good. 
for a human at least. And he has to deal with two frost armors here that delays the creep and that delays the expansion. And Lucifer is constantly spamming these skeleton warriors to scout, to attack. And now he's finally producing his first, uh, his first fiend, so he's able to kill the towers right away. But Yoss got himself a berserker. Let's see, the mauler is not available at the moment. I think he definitely needs one. Yeah, so Lucifer definitely on his way to level 3 with a level 3 coil. It's so important because the Mountain King is already level 3 and the level 2 Stormbolt um, does hurt a lot, especially against Fiends. Yeah, this is still best of 1. Sorry, I forgot about that. So good timing by yours, the first arcane tower is up before the first big push comes in and the expansion is almost done as well. He'll definitely need more towers. In the meantime, Lucifer, no tier 3 tech but the slaughterhouse, no lich yet. Ah, he's going for the panda second. Rare choice, but okay, first breath of fire, first coil, two peasants down. But yeah, the arcane power, uh, power, the arcane tower is so important. Burning mana, killing skeletons right away. And yeah, Yoss is doing the right thing and focusing the fiends. He can't do anything against these Breath of Fire. So uh, losing three or four peasants is still okay, I guess. One good thing about... Um, the Panda and Brewmaster for yours is that uh, Lucifer can coil this guy, so he can't heal him. But of course, if yours decides to go triple hero or uh, Paladin second, he won't be able to nuke him out with Holy Light and Bolt. So, good and bad sides about that. But I kind of like the Panda choice. It's good against the economy. WFZ shows how to play with the Lich. And I guess that is the only way to win against human nowadays, as an undead. To constantly push the economy. Oh, that berserker. Nice stumble to the fiend, goes down right away. Yeah, and that fight will be won by the berserker. Uh, Stormbolt again, but there's no follow-up. There is a Stormbolt soon, so the Panda has to retreat and uh, get safe. The Berserker got killed in the end, but the this is all time that yours needs to put up uh, the defenses. And the first uh, meat wagon is coming. This is good for Lucifer. But still no tier 2 for yours. He's putting so much gold into the guard towers. In the meantime, oh, Lucifer even with a zeppelin. He's creeping his way. Level 3, level 2. Oh, and he's even going for a sacrificial skull. The masonry upgrade for yours. Kinda late, but he's trying to uh, catch the fight far away from his expansion. Oh, Lucifer is going for an expansion, maybe. But yeah, there's no acolyte right now. Maybe it's just for creeping purposes. And preparation, Stormbolt to the Panda! Now there's a follow-up and the Panda dies right away, the Zeppelin is too late! That was, uh, yeah, a bit sloppy by Lucifer. You have to be aware... Oh, there's money, ladies and gentlemen! Uh, you have to be aware that the Stormbolt is incredibly strong. And if you can coil him, you need a potion for some kind. Oh, Lightning Shield, Lucifer, Micro, Micro, ah, finally. So yeah, this expansion is safe. Here comes Tier 2, halfway done. More and more uh, Meat Wagons coming. But I think the timing for the push is over. The Expo is safe. 
The main base is safe. And yeah, the Mountain King is almost level 4. Guys, we need more subscribers for that muddy icon. We need 10 more subscribers and we can finally unlock the muddy icon. We all love this guy, so uh, yeah. Spend your five dollars well. Okay, here's the first Ogomola. Nice uh, army of mercenaries and of course footmen. I don't know if there's defense upgrade. Um, I didn't catch that. Yeah, Stormbolt again. This focus is so good. The coil arrives too late. Level four for the MK. Three Stormbolts left, I guess. But the Panda is back on the battlefield. First Breath of Fire. But he also is doing a good job sniping units here. Zip with the both and Muddy is dying! No! To the replica of Frostmorn. Oh, nice. Nice save of the Obsidian Statue. So, both players not on world class uh, skill level, but it's super entertaining. A player's forces are under attack. High amount of action in this game. And Yoss is constantly pressuring the undead with his bolt, but there's only one bolt left. Lucifer needs the healing of the Obsidian statue, but makes it incredibly uh, vulnerable. But the Zeppelin is there just in time to save it once again. One more Storm Bolt is ready. But there's nothing to hit right now. Oh, he can steal the crab. And the boots! Nice! He stole the boots. So 200 more gold for him. Level 4 on the DK. Level 2 on the Panda. Oh, Blood Mage! Second for yours. He's going... Uh, yeah, high level nuke action here with Banish Bolt combination. He can easily snipe uh, the DK and the Panda. Well, the DK, all, uh, he's already on 1000 hit points through 3 circles of nobility. But yeah, here comes Double Arcane Sanctum. And I guess there will be... Um, Workshops coming as well. Oh, Lucifer forgot an obsidian statue. This can break his neck. And everything is damaged. He uh, needs to repair them, I guess. Lucifer rebought a town portal. Potion of invulnerability as well. The first breakers are coming out. The first upgrades for the breakers are coming out. And the tier 3 tech. So he might even switch to Griffin's late. But I'm not so sure about that. Two Berserkers, a Shadow Priest and a Mauler. It's good. So yeah, pretty equal. Except there's an expansion running for yours. And uh, <laughs> he even builds this, uh, a tower right there. Oh, mana, a uh, Siphon mana first. So, of course, the less mana there is for coils, the earlier the fiends die. Stormbolt, and once again, Sif and mana. Once again, he's out of mana for a coil. But he's going double slaughterhouse right now. That means uh, lots and lots of destroyers scan here to kill that one fiend. The berserkers are all burning. Oh, surround on the panda, and he will die again. Nope! He fights his way out. No, oh, there is one more bolt. Here it comes. Oh, Invo Potion. Nice. This is the skill level we are used um, from Lucifer. And this is what we all love from Lucifer. So, of course, Stephen Mana is not only good for uh, drawing the mana from the enemy's hero, but you can always swap it to your first hero. So this is of course a US host spot. The ping seems to be great for both players. And here is the Paladin as a th third hero. We mentioned it before. And a Griffin Aviary. So he's not going to counter with workshop units like gyrocopters and tanks. He's going for Griffins and some... Uh, and some... Hawks, I guess. Definitely a great combination with Banish later on. You have Holy Light, you have Bolt and you have the magic damage from the Griffins. How can you leave this game, man? It's on a knife's edge. Triple hero combo by both players now, with the Lich added for Lucifer. 
Oh, possible creep jack. He scouts it. L Ring of protection plus two. Well, that's not uh, a good item, but whatever. Maybe a second expansion for yours with these uh, peasants here. Level three for the panda. I guess uh, that's the r the main reason why he's not going for gyrocopters. Because the panda is just too strong. Here comes Sif and Mana again. Stormbolt. Nice follow up. Oh, potion. No, no potion. He sacrifices the abomination to gain some XP. Here comes the first Nova to the MK. There's no invo potion. No healing potion. Nothing. Next Stormbolt. No follow up here. Uh, only from the breakers to burn more mana. More mana transferred to the MK. There is another Stormbolt. But Townport Loud Breath of Fire almost killed the Mountain King. Yeah, and everything got out there in time. Second expansion by yours coming. The main gold mines are uh, not even about to collapse. But uh, Lucifer, in the meantime, he's attacking the main base of yours. He doesn't want to fight against uh, knights, as it seems. Griffin Avery is up, so we will see the first Griffin soon. Still level 1 on the Blood Mage and still level 1 on the Paladin, so there is no... Um, no banished yet and Lucifer is up for an expansion as well but it's scouted by yours with the footman so time to level up the second and third heroes I guess especially for Lucifer it's very important to get a level 3 the scroll of restoration one of the best items in the game 300 hit points and 150 mana points, especially with the nice destroyer army. This is so important. Let's see how yours is catching up with this. Of course, very hard creep spots. Lots and lots of experience coming out. And of course, one of the best items in the game. From the Dark Wizard, level 8. And this is... Potion of Divinity, great as well. 25 seconds of invulnerability. He might give that to the Blood Mage. But yeah, time for attack upgrades for uh, the last masonry upgrade. But yeah, Lucifer is doing a quite a good job with this uh, Harris, but I don't know if he could kill anything. The barracks are still alive, the shop is still alive. It's a good idea, but it didn't uh, work out that well. So, we have good hero levels here. Level 5 MK, so important. Level 2 Blood Mage, level 2 Paladin, so he is safe with his Divine Shield on the other side. 4, 3 and 2 for Lucifer. He's lacking the level Coil Nova and he's lacking the level 3 um, Coil. Uh, yeah, the, the level 2 Nova and the level 3 Coil. The expansion falls into pieces, so everything Lucifer touches right now um, is not that effective. His army is only 50 food, yours is up at 70 food, and he has uh, 1000 gold. Oh, potion of, uh, pendant of energy for... The Panda level 4, now level 5 DK, level 3 Lich, but yours is um, pushing here, attacking the Wood Ghouls immediately, and he's trying to kill the Acolytes as well, but well walled off, and yeah, this is a bad situation for yours! The Blood Mage falls even with a potion of invulnerability on him! Townport Loud Panda is still alive, and he even has an Ank of Reincarnation, so this fight... Uh, could bring Lucifer back into the game, but he has two expansions up against him. A player's forces are under attack. And yeah, this might be the time for Lucifer to push one of those expansions. But still, he has only 44 food. Potion of Greater Healing, once again a great item for yours. But he has to fight against the Scroll of Restoration. This item can single-handedly win a fight. Oh, yours even going for the high upkeep. So economy-wise, it's uh, 12 gold per work, uh, per second against uh, 10 gold. So the economy advantage is not that great for yours at the moment. 
And here comes the first workshop with the flag can upgrade. So we will be going for that gyrocop. This breath of fire coming in. Huge damage to the gyros. There is the first staff being used. Holy Light should be there in time as well. But there's three masonry upgrades. Uh, he shouldn't deal with his towers. It's almost impossible to break that... Uh, to break that defense. And yeah, level 5 Mountain King once again. Lucifer is trying to get for uh, to go for the other expansion. This is looking more promising. Okay, towers down. The next target uh, will definitely be the peasants here. Yours is not defending this. Everything is down. He's trying to go for a creep spot, but there are none. No expansion from Lucifer either. He scouted that. With an Illu. And yeah, the main gold mines are about to collapse. But the town hall is still alive. Yours should be careful of that he is not becoming too... Um, too confident. Or too greedy. The fight in Lucifer's base uh, was definitely a bad choice for him. item was that? Oh, Potion of Greater Mana. Yeah, and yours? I don't know, man. A good amount of flying machines now. The Mauler to counter the Fiends, but are there any? I don't think so. Okay, and now he's trying to defend the Town Hall with 94 food. This is heavy. Bolt immediately thrown to the panda, but he has the anchor free inclination. Gyrocopter is coming in. Perfect timing. No panda at the moment to hit him with breath of fire. He's coming back right now, but he has no mana anymore. Perfect, perfect timing by yours to fly in with the gyrocopters. Huge damage through flag hands. He has to use the scroll of restoration, and now he's killing all the gyrocopters with the mana. But the, the, the destroyers are way too low. Where's the panda? Down again! And the Lich is the next target. Where is anything? Here comes the coil and the potion of invulnerability to save him. Or even the potion of divinity. I don't know. That, that was for yours. And Lucifer is losing everything and calls GG. Yours beats the Korean legend with a very promising... Um, very promising performance here on Nomad Isle. Jesus, that was a great game. I'm sending you into a small commercial break and uh, try to get the next game and uh, watch through the bracket to find some interesting games.